Connor, it is uh, fantastic to have you here. How does it feel to have signed for Derby? Yeah, absolutely delighted. Um, great to get it done. Kind of been bubbling away for a little bit um, over the last co couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, finally to get it done, really, really excited. And uh, I feel like it's an exciting time now for the club. It certainly is. Why have you chosen Derby? Why now? Uh, I think obviously at my age now, 31, I was kind of uh, looking for something that's going to excite me, um, something that I can be a big part of. Um, you know, fortunately enough for myself, I've kind of, you know, played from League Two all the way up to the Premier League. So kind of analysing it this summer, being a free agent, I was thinking, right, what do I want next? What do I want to kind of achieve or what do I want to be a part of? And uh, I think Derby ticked all the boxes, really. Um, you know, everyone knows the kind of difficulty over the last little period, but now it's a fresh start, new takeover and uh, the excitement is, is, is here and that's why I'm, uh, I'm here and I want to get part of it really. A yeah. man who's up for a challenge then by sounds of it. Yeah, yeah, all for it. Um, you know, worked my, my way for, to, to achieve what I've achieved in my career. Um, so all about kind of hard work and, and rising to challenges and, and whatever it may be come my way. So um, yeah, just excited for it and hopefully I can be a big part of where the club wants to go. How closely have you followed events at, at Derby over uh, the last year or so? Is it something you've been aware of? Yeah, of course. Yeah, look, it's you know I'm kind of obsessed with football, so um, when I look into it, it's um, you know it's hard not to kind of see what's gone on here. Um, I think what the club did last year was uh, pretty fantastic in in the terms that, that they had. Um, you know, so um, it no, it's uh, you know not been easy. I know that. Obviously, I know a couple of people in the background. Um, John, the physio here, is obviously I've spoke to him a little bit. I had him at, at Villa. Um, obviously nighty with the international team so I've, I've had kind of snippets from them as well and how difficult it's been so um, time for a, kind of a and leave that behind us now in a new chapter and uh, full steam ahead. Yeah th are those personal connections in, in important when it comes to a decision like this? Yeah of course yeah it's always it's always nice to come into a club and, and know a couple of people um, you know it's obviously like I said I had John and Nighty and two good people um, you know who you can lean on um, I, I, it's kind of a funny story how I met the manager this summer, but uh, uh, got to know him over the last few weeks, which, it, which has been brilliant. So um, yeah, look, like I said, real feel good factor around the place. Um, feels like there's a good excitement. Um, new signings already here, more to come, no doubt. And uh, really looking forward to the season to start. Is it a story you can share, or is that one for another time? No, look, it's not that funny. But uh, no, look, I was just uh, being a free agent. Um, I was out for lunch in a restaurant uh, with my wife and, and, and two kids and Liam just so happened to be in there, maybe as a little bit of fate. Um, we got talking for five or ten minutes um, after my kids ran up to his table and kind of caused a bit of noise or whatever. And um, lo and behold, kind of four, four to six weeks later, here I am, yeah, so um, maybe there was a little bit of fate in it, yeah. Amazing how these things happen. Uh, and, and just finally, that there's been speculation that, that you might be coming to Derby uh, and the fans are very excited. Have, have you seen how excited they are? Um, a little bit. Look, I've, I'm on social media. You see messages, of course. Um, look, I know how big the club is. Um, so then, you know, the bigger the club, the more the messages you get. Uh, you know, I've played at, you know, your home ground quite a few times. Um, you know, so I know how big it is. I know you know, the history of, you know, not being where they should be, but look, that the, the realism is that we are, but together with the fans and uh, with everyone, uh, looking to drive forward and get the club got back going again. Excited to get started. Yeah, really excited. Uh, delighted to be here and delighted to get going, yeah. Great to have you. Welcome Cheers. to Derby. Thank you.